Do you want to start a food business, but you don't know how to begin? Watch this video to the end. I have three ways that you can use to start making food business from your home. Hello, YouTubers. It's your girl, Rose. Welcome to my channel, Food Entrepreneur, where I teach food processing, food packaging, food branding, food marketing, and food business. Before we dive into today's video, I want you to know that if you don't have a food product, then you don't have a food business to start up from your home. So you need a food product to make a food business. Okay, so if you don't have a food product, don't worry, I got you covered. I've created, which I've created a video, which I'm going to link at the end of this video, how you can create your own food product from your kitchen to the store shelf or marketplace. Check the description, check the link in my description below to be able to get access to that video. So now let's continue. I, like I said, I have three ways that you can use to start up your own food business from your own. The first is taking inventory. To start up a food business, you need to take inventory. You need to know what your food product is bringing to the market. You have to have an inventory of your food product. To do this, what you simply need to do is to ask yourself some tough questions. Question like, you have to ask yourself question like, can my food product bring any benefit to my consumers? What does my final consumers turn to benefit once they purchase my food product? In order for you to achieve this, you, you need to get a book and list out all the benefits of your food product. That is how to take inventory of your food product. Honestly speaking, if your food product does not have anything is bringing to your consumer, then there is no need of trying to collect the hard earned money of your consumer. What you need to do is to create a better product or look for another idea. Once you have done, once you have created, you have taken an inventory of your food product, the next thing you need to do is you need to get buyers for your food product because every business needs buyer for profiting and cash flow. So does a food business. A food business requires business for profiting and cash flow. Selling to your friends, your neighbors, your, your co-workers is not enough. We'll not be able to bring the, the, the cash flow that is needed in your food product. It will not be able to get you to the sales pitch that you desire for your food business. So your food product must be bringing money into the food business in order for the food business to grow and to get a for you to be able to get access easily to buyers you need to to bring out the value of your food products that is why taking inventory of your food products is very very crucial is very important so because you will only be able to sell the benefits of your food product to the consumer for somebody to buy your a, Amala, for example, is buying the benefits of that illibo, is buying the reason the, 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 the reason a buyer will get your, your plantain flower is because you have been able to convince that buyer that your plantain flower is original quality illibo and no other flower is added to it. There is no additive, there is no preservative, it's just pure. And when that consumer purchases that illibo from you or that plantain flower, he or she will be able to maintain his blood sugar okay so by doing that the person will not see reason why he can purchase that elbow from you so for you to get buyer again you need to take inventory of your product what is the value of your food product to your final consumer what is the benefit that a consumer will get after purchasing your food product what value do, does your food product have to the market so you need buyers for your food 
product, you need them to patronize you so you can get sales for your food products. Because if you are not selling, you get broke and you don't have a food business. Finally, the last thing to consider when creating or starting a food business from your own is you have to create a market space. There is always a market space for your food products. As long as you have a great and good food product, your food product is quality, okay, you know there is an audience that is in need of your food product, there is always a market space. Please know that somewhere, somewhere, someone, somewhere it has already created similar food product to what you are making. What you need to do is to check out these businesses, look at what they are neglecting, their loopholes in the market, and make use that focus on that area that is how you create a market space for your food product okay so you use this tip to start off your own food business so guys i hope this video was able to help you kindly subscribe to this channel and share this video with your friends this will help me to make more useful content for you and also next week i'm going to be uploading a new video on how you can sell your food product in from your kitchen to the market or store shelf if you want to say online or offline how you can go about doing that so guys don't forget to check out my channel next week so that you can get access to that video thank you very much for watching this video i hope you enjoyed this video see you in my next video thanks guys bye